Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Ia's Guardian Thor, and today we're gonna to look at how to get polyatomic LMGs in a video that starts right now. All right, so, Playlist, it's going to be Shoot House. You know I'm going to be talking about centering. Those are the two most important things. For perk package, you can run around with uh, Bomb Squad, Tracker, got Fast Hands, Ghost, and you can play around with Battle Rage. So this will give you um, more tactical sprint than Dead Silence. So if you... Someone pointed out in, in the comment section that uh, the Dead Silence doesn't give you any extra mobility. It just increases your FOV. I'm running at 120 FOV, and I guess the Dead Silence puts on even more than that. And made it seem like, like you have more mobility. But you can use this Battle Rage instead of that if you'd like, if you want to increase your mobility. Because the LMGs are kind of slow. And as far as the build here... We're going to use the, any, any one of these are good, the, uh, the VOK for time, the SZ, or just one of these uh, basic optics like the Slimeline Pro. That's fine. That's pr pretty much what I was using. And for the barrel, you just want to use the, the most damage, highest bullet velocity. But if you don't, you can also go these routes of trying to make the gun faster. You can go for these smaller barrels since these are all close quarter range. So you can go for these, you know, so anything that says aim down sight. It may take a few more bullets to kill, but that's all right. I would um, use the, the Talon here, the ZLR Talon 5. And then you can make your adjustments as well if you want to add the bullet velocity, recoil smoothness. Stuff like that. I only recommend doing that if you're going to use a underbarrel, so you can um, make those uh, fine-tune adjustments to increase your ADS speed. But since we're not, I think that this will work here. And then for the stock, gonna gonna have the sprint to fire speed, ADS speed, and then more sprint to fire ADS speed. So you're getting double ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, and then. You can add even more if you want to add uh, one of these barrels here, these smaller barrels. And that is uh, pretty much it. That, um, that'll help you get through these challenges. There are six LMGs. So the other LMGs are the, the Sacken, the HCR, Rawl, Rep H. To unlock the HCR, you have to level up the STB. Once you level up the STB assault rifle, then the HCR-56 is unlocked. For the RPK, you have to level up the Castoff 762, and then that will unlock the RPK. And for the Rep H, you have to, there's a couple, uh, you have to uh, uh, first level up the Lockman 762, then level up the Lockman 556, and then you'll, you'll be able to have the Rep 8. So that is it as far as the weapon tracking is concerned. And I hope you guys liked the video. Drop a like. Hit that subscribe button. Put down below in the comments how you guys are doing on these challenges. Love reading, reading your comments, guys. I absolutely love it. It's been awesome. I try to respond to each and every person because you guys are taking the time to watch the video. Taking the time to comment. I'm going to reply and... Turn on the bell for the notifications, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Horns up and skull. All right, so first up is going to be the second LMG and centering. You knew I was going to say it. I knew I was going to say it. The cats knew I was going to say it. The Asgardians knew I was going to say it. Throw in the lions as well. All right, so centering. You know, you see the little micro adjustments, and I think the key with these LMGs is trying to ha uh, have your centering, but also with a steady aim, because I mean, the, the, the bullets will kill the 
enemy with uh, two shots. So if you're not really by their head, th these challenges are going to take a little bit longer because you're going to be killing them before you even have a shot to headshot them. They're very, very powerful. So centering is very, very important to getting through these challenges very quickly. This is the HCR here. Other thing I want to mention is ADS speed, sprint to fire speed. Um, if you, now that I think about it, just use the, um, the, short, the shorter barrels for faster ADS speed. Don't use any magazines. Incre uh, use the laser for sprint to fire ADS speed and the rear stock. And that'll give you a better um, tactical gameplay experience for getting the, these headshots because in these in the smaller map like this it's all about sprint to fire speed and ads speed there's some recoil control yes but the main thing is the ads speed sprint to fire speed this is the icarus 556 very um strong weapon and much like the raw the raw is very very quick on the uh, time to kill and the bullets just fly out very, very quickly. But I love how, how the raw sounds. It's like, doom, 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 doom. You know what I mean? It's like 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 hammers just smacking your opponent's face. I, I love it. The uh, raw is uh, really, really good. The LMGs, the experience, aside from uh, trying to control the recoil, I had a nice uh, hip fire headshot there. I'm not going to complain about that. It's um, just how powerful they are. It, it's really, really powerful. You can... Um, Hold down the trigger. It's really, really nice, especially going from the uh, battle rifles. Yeah, that, so I did the, the battle rifles before. Leave leave the, the most enjoyable classes last. You know, um, this was my favorite LMG, the RPK. Leave the most enjoyable classes last. The assault rifles, LMGs, SMGs. Leave those for last. Do all the pain in the butt weapons first, and then just coast at the very end. If you got this far, then just enjoy the end of it. You don't want to be stressing out. Catch you guys in the next video. Horns up and skull!